Hey everybody, Unqualified Gamer here, and welcome to another episode, episode six, six episodes six. of six. 90 six. Support Group. Here we have my two best buddies that I can, you know, that, that, that I power around with. They're just yeah. fantastic. Yes, sir. My man, yes, Zenith yes, and KTAX Brisket. Yes, sir. We out hey. here. Uh, big daddy Zen in the building, you know, big long legs in. This guy, <laughs> aka this guy. free my man mustard. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Uh, oh man, tell y'all how how, how how everybody doing today? Everybody doing good? Yeah, good, so, good. I'm happy, you know. I ride my kids. Life's good. Life's good. <laughs> Life's good. Life's good. Life is good. Nice, mm-hmm. nice. All right. So, welcome to the 90 Support Group, episode five. No, six. How to say five? Six. Episode six. You, you were. You were about to say I know. Five. <laughs> uh, like I said, on, mm, hold on. Excuse me for a second. Mm. Oh, you you eating, bro? You oh, he, got right a, he got a dick in his mouth. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's what he eats. He got the meat. He got the glizzy in his mouth. He eating that Arby's, bro. All right. First of all, I heard that shit. It ain't no goddamn glizzy. <laughs> he got and, meat in his mouth. And got, two, was it, and was it meat. meat? <laughs> I mean, was it meat? I mean curry rice. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's meat in it. Wow, <laughs> chicken. Yo, chicken is it's poultry, not meat. meat. It's still meat. Go ahead. <laughs> not a <Yeah>. spice. <laughs> But nah, it's good though. It's good, it's good stuff though. You, what you up? Gotta relax, relax your throat. Oh, yeah, I forgot you got it. You're you're weak, so you can't yeah, handle spice. Relax your throat and just wow. let it slide down, slide down in. Okay, the first oh, of all, no. <laughs> first of all, it was just a piece of peppercorn that got stuck on my uvula. Okay, uh, the wow. uvula. Oh the, my goodness! So Not things, the touch, things touch a uvula. Hey, Bro, yo. you know you know do you know what the uvula is? Hey, yo, I don't gotta know, bro. That's the touch of mind, I'll tell you hey, that. Hey, yo. He probably didn't even gag, bro. I, yo. Anyway, anyway, as I was saying, hey, hey. episode hey. six, 90, uh, 90 support group. Um, we'll be covering um not not much on the on the on the topics today, guys. Though, but we do have, of course, a Black History facts that we're gonna be doing. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. we're talking about the new, the new Shonen mm-hmm. Jump manga, Earth oh. Child. You know, I know oh. these two MFs. You know, they're uncultured, so they don't they yeah. have they haven't they haven't yeah. read anything. That's that's you know. big fact, bro. Um, we're gonna talk about. Our favorite Naruto characters, and of course, we're not gonna talk. We're not gonna sit there and pick like, oh, Naruto Kakashi. You know, we're gonna, you know, you know, we got, we got some, we got some premium characters that we can sit there and say, yo, top tier. Um, also gonna be talking about the latest Dragon Ball Super chapter. Um, I can't really show you any still images or anything like that because it could be taken down by. The big dogs of uh, Shueisha might come after me uh, if I do. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit also about the uh, reveal of grown-up Goten and Trunks. Take that as what you will. <laughs> uh, okay. And then, you know, we'll close it off with uh, what are we watching, you know, part of the segment here. So uh, let's get this thing started with... Um, you know our Black History facts. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, who 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 want who want to go first? Um, I can't. Mine's, yeah, yeah. mine's short. Mine's is short. All right, go ahead, go ahead. So mine's is about this woman named Sarah Bartman. All right, you ever heard of her? Mm-hmm. No, no. You never heard of Brent? Uh, uh, Bruce, you heard of her, right? Who? I mean, um, talk about Sarah Bartman. You might have to refresh my memory on her. All right, she was a all right. So she was a black woman. Mm-hmm. She 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 had like a big butt, a big body. Okay. And okay. She died in eighteen fifteen. Oh, basically... are we talking about hot and tight Venus? Yeah, I guess the lady that was put on display. 
That was pulling the plug. That that well, that was her display name. I couldn't. That, that was her display name. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Played. Yeah. She was put on display, and her brain and skeleton, the sexual organs, remained on display at a Paris museum until 1974. Her remains mm-hmm. were still. Um, on display uh, later, but she wasn't buried until 2002. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Very disrespectful. I said this, I said this uh, last time, but I want to say this again. They call us the savages, but who's the real savages? Oh, oh that's exactly. Bro. Exactly. Definitely, bro. Yeah. Definitely. Um, that's just wild, bro. Probably because she is. just had no one to, uh... <laughs> but they probably removed her from that, you know? She had no one to claim. Exactly. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah. Not yeah, that they would have listened, you know, so. No, nah, they wouldn't. They yeah. wouldn't. Not especially that. Uh, yeah. Wow, yeah. But that, no, that's, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. You know, that's not, not I, everything, I not everything about know. our history, not everything about our history is, is full of positivity. You know, you still oh. got to, you still got to recognize the, you know, the shit they did to us. You yep. know, it's still part of our history and that's the shit they try yep. to bury. Yep. You know, they, they don't want, they don't want to feel. You got to make it like I said. If you if if you if you're reading history, and this goes for any part of history, if you're reading history, you don't yep. feel one bit of you being uncomfortable. You might be a problem. Real yeah. shit. Well, like, what you're you know, learning just isn't actual yeah. history. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. Like a lot of people don't like to accept that fact. You know? Yeah. Exactly. You know um, what's crazy, bro? What's that? Uh, no, no, no. Continue, continue, because it could no, probably no. go as a uh, segue. You know? Okay. After, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Let's see. So my, my black history fact is it's a short one as well, but um, you know what? It's this one's a little bit more positive, and this happened not too long ago. Um, I think it happened somewhere around I think August of 2020. Um, Allison Lawson, first black woman in Texas to own two 7-Eleven gas stations, not like one, but two. not one yeah. but two. I'm I'm, po- I'm putting up the uh, the article I got this from. Uh, blackenterprise.com i got the 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 uh the article from that which i'm mm-hmm. posting up right now on discord they actually did i post it up on discord Ooh, hold on uh oh i actually shared it to the wrong <laughs> yeah <laughs> i shared it to the wrong god dang ah. oh that way give you give me a second here but anyway um like you said it's it's good news that that you know this is being this this is being recognized. Um, I wish I would have known this fact a little bit earlier than what I did. Yep. Uh, but you know what? I, I like you said. It's regardless. It's it's being you know. There we go. I just posted up the article from BlackEnterprise.com. BlackEnterprise.com. Uh, yeah. Write that down. No, <laughs> I, I'll put it. I'll, I'll put it in the in the Discord chat. So it's uh, it's up there. You can see it. <laughs> No, um, the viewers, the viewers, write that down. Yep. Write that down. <laughs> but um, over, overall, though, um, like I said, this this is a great way of the, um that, that this is being recognized. But also, it's actually sad in a way because it's 2022, mm-hmm. and we're still getting the first black blank anything, anything yep. which yep. is fucking insane, you know. And then whenever we 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 come out with with articles, that's not like. You know, any anytime we talk about like this, this this is history, just a part of our history here. So anytime we talk about something of recent history, you have racist white people that really just sit there and they be like, "Oh, why you got we got to shove it down our throats?" Because all throughout history, all we've been learned about was what white accomplishments have done. Yep. You know, Pretty like like much. the fact is though, I want to be at a point where we don't have the first of whatever. I, yep. I don't. I don't. I don't want to be. You know. I mean. Like. I, like. I'm talking. If it's gonna be the first of something, it's gonna be something astronomical. It's gonna be something that that that's gonna be out of this world. You know. what I mean. No. That. That's what I want. You know. As as a first of something. You know. You know. First. 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 Black person to 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 basically let's just say create. You know. I'm just saying create create a space elevator from earth to the moon. Like, you know what I mean? Like, all right, that's, that's like a first something that you could be like, yeah, I'm down for that. But the fact that we get an article such as the first black person in Austin, te- uh, in Austin, Texas to own two seven elevens. Like that is crazy that we're still in that situation. I yeah. think it's, I think it's crazy, but it's also like us too. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes we could be like like just not just motivated to do better or like because like black people, like a lot of people don't know, but we are like the dominant uh race spending spending people like on the, in the United States. If we leave right now, if all black people just pack up and leave, the United States will go the will crumble. Oh, and yeah, wherever true. we and wherever yeah. we go, we'll thrive. Yeah. And that's yeah. and that's the guy honest truth. Um but we you know like it's like you said the it's the first black person to own two seven eleven, but what, what black person you know thinking about owning a seven eleven? Or who has the capital to? Yeah. Because that's the thing, bro. The effects of like systemic racism, bro, they they go way beyond just like Yeah. It's like you know, it's Yeah. Because people like, always talk about like, oh, why don't black people just act, you know, like they want to be better, you know? And it's like it's not even that. There's a psychological Yeah, there's not a site and we yeah, and, and you know, my girlfriend's screaming from the back. That's look, stories, I had this, the I had this um, friend I had this friend real quick. I had this mm-hmm. friend just to show you how how uh black people think or some black people not all. Yeah. I had this friend, um, he came up on like three million dollars from the city. He he got hit yep. by a trash truck. Yep. In Philly. And he came up on three million dollars. I said, you Yo, will, bro. He, I said, Yo, why don't you buy a, a Chick fil A or something? You'll be set for life. He looked mm-hmm. at me, laughed, talking about what the fuck I look like buying a Chick fil A. I'm out here balling, I'm getting money. I'm I'm like, what? Yeah. Like he was like, it's like I'm trying to give him ideas now. Now three or four years later, I think it's three years later. Now this nigga broke. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But For it's nothing. just the mindset that we and people don't think about that. And, and Bruce, your fact was like really a good fact because it is something like you know it's it's a big thing like for yeah. black people to own something and just the fact that we gotta say oh this is the first and this yeah. is this yeah and we're so far removed. Mm-hmm. That it's a shame, but still, we still gotta hold ourselves accountable. Yeah, we still gotta hold, yeah. Yeah. We gotta hold, hold ourselves accountable. It's hard yeah. to do that though, bro, because you gotta learn first, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Not, and not, the way the way education yeah. goes, like if you yeah, don't you know would... if you don't know what happened to you, right? That's what I was about to, to say. To, to be the way that you are, then there's no nothing you could do to fix it. That's the issue exactly. with white people, right? There's a lot of racist ass white people who don't know they're racist, right? Because that's just how they always were. And we're humans, right? You adapt to, uh, you know, the environment that you're in to, you know, you adapt to, yeah, your environment, bro. So yeah. if, if, if you're in a place that's hot all the time, you're not going to feel hot, bro. Because that's just how it is all the time. That's why there's people living in, like, Moscow. It'd be negative 10 degrees, bro. It's a regular day, bro. It's not cold. It's a regular day. We go out there, it's fucking freezing, bro, because, like, it's not that temperature here, right? There's people right. like who live in the Sahara, Africa, right? It, it, it's a normal day. A hot day to them is would kill us, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just like that's the same thing with racism. And you know, like uh what I wanted to say at the end, we'll probably segue into that. We'll probably get back to this, but you want me to uh I'll say my black history fact. Yeah, go 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 ahead. Against, uh, but my black history fact. So on the topic of COVID vaccinations and shit. You know, because it, it, it's recent and it, it it makes sense today, right? So the first person to introduce vaccinations, right, to the West or what we consider the West, right? Because I won't say he introduced the period because clearly it existed in Africa, right? But the mm-hmm. first person to introduce vaccinations was an enslaved black man, right? An enslaved mm-hmm. African, right? We don't know his name. We only know his slave name, Right. And his slave name was once Miss, right? He introduced the vaccination technique for smallpox, right? And it involved removing pus from someone who already had smallpox, and they would rub it into the open wound of someone who didn't, right? The idea being you rub a small amount of the infection, right, into someone else, a healthy person's body, their immune system being healthy would kill off the little itty bit of smallpox, right? And then you would gain... Resistance, and that's exactly how uh, vaccinations work, you know, today, right? Right. Um, Naturally, he didn't get credit, right? And if you if you look it up, smallpox, the 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 credit was actually given to a white man by the name of Edward Jenner, right? Mm -hmm. And guess who the first anti-vaxxer was? 
<laughs> a racist white doctor, right? <laughs> An educated European educated doctor, right? Racist though. And he basically, you know, he became the first anti-vaxxer saying that the slaves were just trying to kill all the white people. So there's huh. the, uh, the 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 Crazy. birth of all that yeah. white fear and in, in the anti-vaxxer shit, bro. Cause like, you know, people have been doing vaccinations in the in the motherland for centuries. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's not like smallpox didn't exist, you know what I mean, in other countries, bro. Right? It just didn't ravage uh African ones because, you know, they they signed stuff, you know, they realized like the benefit of it. So right. you right. know, that's my black history fact. But yo right. Right. but that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, you know, you just won't know unless you know your history, right? And, mm-hmm. and, and now, you know, whoever's watching this, please look into critical race theory. And I'm not saying just Google uh, the term because you're going to get a lot of information. Um, watch the people who actually developed the theory because, you know, if you, if you Google it, you're going to get a lot of hate. You're going to get a lot of anger out of those, like, posts. But, like, that's what they're talking about. They want to teach people about America's history, not to shame white people, right, but to teach them how they, we got to where we are today, right? Because if you know your history, you know where you came from, you know why people started to think the way that they do, you could make changes in the future, you know what I mean? To, like, mm-hmm. change that, bro. Keep, keep like, people just, from, from repeating it. Or keep, exactly, you know, bro. Because, yeah, like yeah. they said, history does repeat itself if you don't, it if you don't check. If you don't, if you don't check yourself. Look, look you at know? Israel right now. Yeah. That happened to the Jews, bro. Mm-hmm. And, and they're doing it to, to Palestinians, right? Yeah. Because they didn't go back and look at their history and take time to sit and realize what they're doing. It's the same shit, bro. Like, like it's the same shit. So like we, you gotta, you gotta know your history before you could correct it. And, and that goes for black people too. Like, you know, we know we, we've been oppressed for a long time, man, long time, centuries. Right. Yeah. And it's like, you know, the ignorant shit we see in the black community Every person who who does that ignorant shit, like you already know, bro. Like they don't know their history, bro. Like yeah, they don't know their history. Like those same people do all that. That's why I don't really judge people anymore, because it's it's the people who know their history. They just don't do that shit. You know what I mean? They 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 understand. You know what I mean? So someone who doesn't know, I can't hold them accountable one hundred percent. Like yeah, we all have the the power to, you know, make decisions and shit, but. If you really don't know what the right decision to make is, how are you going to make the right one? You're basically guessing your whole life. You know what I mean? Exactly. And a lot of times you're going to pick wrong, right? If it's 50-50, you're going to pick wrong a lot of the time if you don't know. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Uh, happy Black History Month. You know what I mean? <laughs> we, we getting better day by day, bro. Day by like, day. like I said, that's, that, that, that's, that's all it takes. And that, like I said, none of this is going to change overnight. It's mm-hmm. not even going to change during, yeah, during, our, yeah, during yeah. our lifetime. That's, What's but that's, what it is though is like said and like said, you can sit there and say you look at how today's like how 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 we move about today. You can sit there and say, "Well, man, it looks like it's getting worse." No, it, it's 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 still it's better. It's better than what it was than what it used to be. It is. It, it is. is. It's better than what it used to be, but there's still a lot of work that we have to do. And do not yeah. forget what our ancestors mm-hmm. have done for us to get to this point. Exactly. That's the thing. Exactly. You know. Yep. So don't like like I said. So just keep keep on like I said. Mm-hmm. Keep keep living day by day. You can't fight the battle alone. And like also, and this is the key thing: take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of your circle. And okay? read a fucking book. Read a fucking book, man. <laughs> read a book. <laughs> read a book. People, read a motherfucking read a book. book. Read a book, book bro. Read a book. <laughs> look, if, if more people actually read the books that Martin Luther King wrote, you know what I mean. And I'm not gonna front. I didn't even know he really published like actual books, bro. Like I only like in school they only teach you his speeches and shit like that. Right? That's it. If you actually read his book, right? He says in his book, like like the the I have a dream speech. That's where they cut it off in school. Like nah, man. Martin Luther King understood that it was naive to think mm-hmm. that peaceful protests could lead to actual. Not not peaceful protests, but protests the way that he was doing it, like asking politely, uh, uh, marching like peaceful. It's like yeah. nah. At some point, you do he have to quoted, demand. You need to demand it, bro. He said in a quote, 
Man, he felt he led his people into the fire or something like that. The burning building, bro. Yeah, the yeah. Burning, yeah. Building. burning building, bro. Yeah. He regretted it, bro, because yeah. he realized, like, yo, nothing's going to change the way that they're going, bro, because, you know. Fun fact, Martin Luther King didn't die from the gunshot when he was actually uh, suffocated in his hospital bed. I can believe mm. that. <laughs> was that very fun? I mean, I believe it. I can believe yeah. that. I can believe that. Because they, they needed to that. make sure he died. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucked up. That is. Yeah, they need they need to make sure he died, you know. All right. Well, uh that's that so that's basically our black history facts mm-hmm. for, for this mm-hmm. uh you know, for the for this podcast, which is very good, man. Great, great job on all of us, you know, coming up with these things. And you know what though? I mean, if it's not you know, if it's not too much. You know, I would like to do this even even beyond February, if that's okay with you guys. Beyond February, sure, hey, right? hey man, you know, because like I mean, it's it's always, it's always good to read up on something, rather it's rather it's current, like happening today, or even in our past. It's nice to look up certain things, man. That you know, that's knowledge, bro. That's, knowledge yeah. is free these days, bro. Exactly, like, man. It is. To, we got we got internet. access, you know. Yeah, hey, we have we have access, you know. Like I said, we we have, we have this, so let let's let's go ahead. We want we're going to use this to benefit us, you know, and uplift us. All right. So next on the agenda, and I know y'all two um, <clears throat> heathens uh, haven't read it, and but it was you know it is new though. It, I mean, it just it came out like last week. I think it only got one chapter out. It's called Earth Child, and um, I, I have like I said, it's a bit confusing at first. I'm not gonna lie. It took you know. The first, you know how uh, when you read, if you're used to reading mangas, you're going, it, the first chapter is always like 53 pages. It's always like 53 pages. Yeah, it's like, it's always like a huge, huge number um, going through because they, I guess they want, they want to, you know, set up a lot of things first. Um, but, but basically, like, it's, it follows the main character, uh, right, uh, Raisuki Sawada. Um, he's basically just a, a male at this point, he's a male high school. They do, they do like a, they do like maybe about two, do about like two, two time skips within the first chapter, uh, because they're just setting up of what's what's going to happen now. The way how it starts off is Rasuki is is um just walking down the street, minding those bin, buying his business, and then of course you know classic anime trope with a with a truck just 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 ro- rolling down the street, you know about about, about the Isekai this dude, you know, and uh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and um the 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 female protagonist um uh, what's that uh per, okay i'm gonna butcher her name but it's uh it's okay Bruce, you know karari 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 hashi for hashi for oh. hashi yeah oh I, like God. i said they it's extremely japanese names here but anyway she is the Earth Child, and what makes the Earth Child so special is the fact they have, um, she has a telekinetic ability, so she was able to stop the truck in a nick of time. But during this process, she erases um, Sawada's uh, memory, you know, sort of like a Men in Black type of thing, like you know, hey, I'm I just saved the day, but you know, I'm erase your memory, you know, because nothing's happened to you. But the thing about this, he remembered her because he liked her. He was like, man, this girl smells good, she looks good. Like on some creep shit, but but it's like look, they always sniffing shit. Yeah, <laughs> always always sniffing shit, man. But uh, you know, as as the month goes on, he actually runs across her in the street, and he invites her, you know, to lunch, and she trying to figure. Now you know, when she finds out that he's just a regular civilian, and he just it just so happened that her mind, um, her, her like her her mind thing wasn't wasn't working on him. Um, he was able to actually have a chance to actually talk to her. Now, this is kind of like the first time she's able to have like a legit conversation without anybody asking her to do something. And the fact that um, he actually praised her for saving his life and actually being a hero and everything like that. And this is her first time getting uh, accolades. So she really, she she really enjoyed that. So the next few weeks, you know, she really been thinking about this guy. <laughs> so she decides. The next time she saved somebody or do, like she it was like this bank robber and she wrote on the bank robber's back a message like telling this dude to meet her at the coffee shop. And then from there, they just hit it off. Right. So yeah. they do a time skip 
they they do a time skip of them like being together and how you know how they conversing to her fighting like to her just doing like remedial just fighting you know fighting bad guys stopping robbers stopping uh like terrorist attacks stuff like that um got to the point where he was just like listen i really like you i want you to marry me so they decide to marry they decide to marry each other another time skip happens where they actually have a kid now during this point it's sort of like she kind of slows down a bit but then of course a giant asteroid come out of nowhere and about to hit earth and she decides listen i have to do this i'm you know i'm an earth child and being an earth child it's like it happens at random you know the earth like i guess the earth's energy infuses with like the baby uh during during the pregnancy and basically like they they have different abilities and everything like that so with her she has telekinetic abilities she was able to go out in space to try to stop it but at the end of the day, she had to sacrifice herself to basically uh, destroy the asteroid. And along with that, he lost her. Now, what makes this very interesting is the fact that he didn't really want her to actually sacrifice herself. The husband, um, you know, Sawada, he didn't really want her to actually sacrifice herself. He actually loved her. And the crazy thing is that when she sacrificed herself, he felt like, you know, he has though he has a son. And then right when she sacrificed herself, the son started showing the abilities of him being an earth child. And when he figured, when he sees it, he's like, I like, I am, I am the protector of earth's only defender. And that's how the chapter ends. And that kind of leads, I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty interesting for the fact that they did about three time skips in the first chapter. Then kind of like they actually killed off his wife. Like, you know, you have, you, you do have sort of like a little, cause like they gave you, they gave you enough to where you kind of felt how you felt like they gave you enough, but then they killed her off at the end of the chapter. Yep. And then on top of that, it leaves off with his child is being, an, is, is like the new earth child. And, and it kind of leads into how this story is going to go. And it could go either two ways. One way is him being very overprotective of his, of his child and basically trying to hide the fact that no, you're not an earth child because he don't want his son to sacrifice himself like his mother did or the opposite train your son to the point where he's even better than his mother. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I, I found, I found that I found, I found this, I found this quite interesting and I am looking forward to the next chapter. Now, can I say, do I recommend it? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I can't, I can't say yes. And I can't say no. Because the first chapter, it starts off pretty generic. Then it kind of turned into like a romance thing. And it was like a good piece of that first chapter was just, was basically like a shoujo. It was basically like a shoujo with some action pieces in it, you know? And then it just turned into this, where she was just like, oh, damn. She really just killed herself and left this dude with a, with a, with a kid, with a newborn kid. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Like uh, that, that, that's crazy, yeah. you know, now, like I said, the way how these, um, this kind of goes into like my thing with, um, with Shonen, with Shonen Jump, uh, mangas. And it's something that we at, in the West are just getting used to, or just experiencing. There's, there's a lot of mangas that comes out, um, especially in the Shonen Jump app. There's a lot of manga that, that come up. They'll do about 13 chapters and then they, they, they done, they out, they, they, they go on. And it all yeah. depends on how well they do. Um, and the, and the fact that like, when you, when we read something like this, sometimes, like I said earlier, we only got the popular stuff, the stuff that knew that was going to hit, you know, but now yeah. that, but now that, um, you know, Shonen Jump, especially the Shonen Jump app, it picks up everything that they just grab. And sometimes it hits and sometimes it don't. Prime example of that, Samurai 8. Great story. I absolutely love that story. I'm right. You know, I love the yeah. art design. I loved, I loved, I loved everything about it. And the fact that it was, yes, it was created by, by the, the creator of Naruto created really? Samurai. Yeah. Created Samurai eight. It didn't hit off. It didn't do, it didn't do his thing. And it just, he had to end it. He had to end it. Wow. And more likely it's not going to get him. It's not going to get an anime because it didn't hit off. And, you know, like I said, but I have, but it's funny because that's not a rare thing. 
we think, like I said, for us, we're like, shit, like, if if a man who created Naruto can't even come out with a new manga that hits off, then what are the, no, that's actually a pretty, that's pretty, that's the really common thing that happens in the manga industry. And even that, that, that's including people who have like pedigrees of great manga writing, mm. you know, so that's, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. But speaking of Naruto, timing's everything, bro. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, but, timing's everything. but uh, speaking of Naruto, uh, let's talk about our favorite Naruto characters. Cause, <laughs> I mean, because li- listen, and like I said, I'm, 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 let's put the staple out here right now, okay? You can't pick Naruto. You can't pick Sasuke. Boo, boo. You know, right? You can't pick Naruto. You can't pick. You can't pick Kakashi. And the re- like I said, my reason for you can't pick Kakashi, and the reason why I say you can't pick Kakashi because everybody loves Kakashi. I have not met not one person who watched Naruto said I fucking hate uh, Kakashi. Nobody hates Kakashi, and everybody loves Kakashi for the same exact reason. So there's no point in even reiterating that. We're gonna say it all right here. Yes, Kakashi is one of my favorite characters in Naruto. Do y'all agree with that? Yes. Well, yeah. my favorite. Exactly. One of my favorite. Exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. now I'm pretty sure the people that are listening, Kakashi is one of your favorite characters as well. Like, you know, let's be honest. Don't 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 try to sit there and try to ignore and try to be like, we're trying to be cool, man. Are you, are you trying to be... Nah, man. Yeah. You know Kakashi damn so well good, Kakashi is your favorite character. It's in everybody's top five Naruto characters in the series. Hey, okay. Copycat ninja. <laughs> Copy, copycat. Cool. Well, he's a ninja. Like he's, he's so cool. He's he, so cool. Man. He's a core ninja. Like he's the core basis of a ninja. Yeah. You know, he wears nothing that is colorful, nothing that, that, that sticks him right out. And he just knows how to just like it. He, he just does his thing. He he's a G. Kakashi is a uh, man is celibate. Oh yeah. He's dedicated to my man gets no cheeks. <laughs> He's dedicated to his he, work. He, his but, cheeks. But he definitely, he no he definitely cheeks. backs off though, because he reads. Uh, what's it called? Oh, oh yeah, 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 horny yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you gotta stay focused some way or another. <laughs> you know, you ain't catching Kakashi slipping, okay? You ain't catching Kakashi okay. slipping. Well, okay. favorite Naruto characters that is not. Kakashi, Naruto, or Sasuke. Let's go. What you got? Okay. Who's going first? Well, I'm open up. My All boy right. Maru. I liked him from I knew the you was going to say him. Before, Rochi, bro. before the- he even got like redeemed. Bro, he was just a thug, bro. He was bro. just fucking he's that dude, bro. And then and a bit of a pedophile, man. Come on. You saw you saw yeah. how he tongued that. Like he did that draw in front of Sasuke. He was just like, no, hold no, no, up. No, no. Let me but let me Brandon like ahead. all the freak characters though. Like man. All freak, freak my man, my man unhinged, my man unhinged his jaw, and was just like, "Let me wrap my tongue around this scroll." And yeah, and, and then he know. started deep throwing. Oh my god, yo, this dude. Uh. Yeah, he he, <laughs> he really a freak. Yo, Kakashi's a freak. I mean, not Kakashi. Uh, yeah, Orochimaru. Orochimaru is a freak. Freak. <laughs> He's a freak, bro. He's a freak, bro. He just does that. All right, Kadeem, what you got? He ain't even. He ain't even say his five. No, 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 well, we not we don't we don't. No, no, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, rotate, rotate. Yeah, we rotate, man. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So this this first character is my favorite Naruto character, but also he's in my top five of all anime, and this is my guy Rock Lee. All right. Oh yeah, Rock Lee. It's my guy. Solid, solid, always. All right. And why, 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 why is it broccoli? Oh, because first of all, like my favorite, my favorite thing about like anime is fighting, right? Mm-hmm. So yep. the fact that it just come in with pure work, no powers, none of that shit, and just body people, like yep. just beating the fuck out of everybody, <laughs> like really no hand to hand, nobody can really fuck with them, like. And even though the anime doesn't like give him props especially borrowed to like i don't know what the fuck they do but anyway the anime don't don't display him like they should nor the manga like nor uh rock lee really a beast out here like he's really nasty bro he's yeah, really nasty. nasty with their hands and niggas really can't fuck with him yo, with their hands. 
and like like like, and, like I like, said, like uh, what we did this what a couple couple weeks ago we was talking about this, where if guy allowed Rock Lee to fight with with him during that Madara fight, mm-hmm, they would have yeah. they they would have ended him right there. Yeah, they would have beat him. They and not only that, so like you had people like like uh Neji, natural talent, who could beat Rock Lee at that time, but Rock Lee just so time. consistent yeah. and worked mm-hmm. hard. Yep. And eventually he could beat Neji, bro. Like I don't yeah, care for real, real. The same like, thing with Guy and, and Kakashi. Yeah. They do yeah. not like, they don't guy. they don't give uh they don't give Rock Lee his flowers, bro. No. And yeah. to be honest, yo, and, and to be honest, like I'm not just gonna I'm just gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this about Rock Lee, man. Like for real, for real. Sakura should have gave him a chance. Yeah, I told you that. Remember? Yeah, I said that you did say that. Yeah, so- say, yeah, Rock Lee. Yeah, like his, like I said, his hard work, dedication. Like he had, he worked harder than Naruto, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say that. Yeah, he did. When it comes down, well, I mean, because he I'm had not... nothing, bro. But people weren't against him, though. No, nah, the people weren't against him. Like, say that's that, that's the only that's that's the only thing that 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 differs from like Naruto's. Um, like progress from Rock Lee, mm-hmm. the fact that the whole village didn't like Naruto, like but for for long to for long while. Don't forget that Rock Lee also uh, trashed Sasuke in the beginning. Oh yeah, of the uh, series, and just was that ball. Like he was, he just, oh, he and, just beat and like him. Said, Sasuke yeah. didn't stand a chance with him at all until he went to go train. Yeah, and shit. Well, yeah, he trained, yeah. and then that's when he stood a chance, but. Other than that, like he wouldn't have been able to fuck yeah. with my man Rock. Nah, he wouldn't. Right. And on top of that, man, I mean, Rock Rock Lee still has one of the best fights of the series, and even in anime in general. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. you know the Gara Rock the Gara Rock Lee fight, man. Yo, when he stood, yo, when when, when, when he stood on top of those 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 hands, and he was like, yeah, that's one of the most legendary yo, moments. Legendary moments. Yo, he took the yo, he took the weights off. Everybody laughing at like. Oh, what a few few pounds. He dropped the door like, the ground. boosh. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody just stopped. He was yeah. like, I, I don't understand. <laughs> they did they did the whole Dragon Ball Z, like, uh, 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 right. uh. They did the <laughs> Dragon Ball Z shock. So, uh, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite characters in Naruto. Uh, it definitely, my man, <clears throat> who died way too soon in this, in this anime, Haku. Man, Haku. let me tell you, Haku. 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 Yep. Hold on, man. Hold yeah. on. I, yeah. I, I had a what he's talking about. Hold the on. ice, uh, the ice girl or oh boy. He ain't girl. No, he's a, he's a dude. He's a dude. But like, dude, that's like a girl. I mean, he looks. Yeah, I mean, he do look like a girl. But not nah, <laughs> yo. Haku was that beast, man, and they killed him off yeah. way too soon. And he he was really strong as shit. He was man. strong. He he gave he gave Naruto and Sasuke that work. Mm-hmm. He gave both of them the works, and the fact that he was like, like he he was under he was under uh, Zabuza, like okay look I was fine with them killing off Zabuza, I was fine with that, but I was not fine with them killing off Haku because he this this kid has so much potential, like he could have really just went on his own, and still been that beast. Like, can you imagine Haku and Shippuden? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Haku's nasty. nasty, man. Yeah, yeah, he's nasty. Nasty. And the, and the, like nasty. I said, and the fact, the fact that what I, what I like, what I, what I absolutely like about him, is they kept that ninja core about him, like that, that whole, the whole idea of deception. Like he dressed up like a woman, mm. to infiltrate, to get information. You know, he did what he had to do. And then when, when it revealed that, yo, nah, like I'm not a chick. Cause you know, cause like I said, Naruto never asked. He oh did man, it. that girl, that girl was pretty. Like, you know, he just took, he took it like it is because right. like I said, you're a ninja. If they don't like the, the one thing, if they, if they, they, they fuck up on your gender, that's great. That's, 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 that benefiting you. Cause you can actually slip in. You can slip in, grab some information, like yo, and and I love, like I said, the ability that he has, man, the mirror abilities, him him using the needles, and it's like also the con the consciousness of just him being like, I ain't trying to kill no kids, I ain't gonna try to kill them, but they're gonna know, like that. I'm gonna beat that ass. Yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna make, I'm, I'm gonna let you know that you dealing with you dealing with a professional. 
And he's still like Ron, Haku is a kid. Yeah. Just like Naruto yeah. and Sasuke. Mm -hmm. He's a kid. Like I said, one of my favorite characters, man, hands down. Yep. 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 I fuck with him. I do. Who's up? Is Who's it me? It? Yep, it's you. Is it me? Yep. All right, bro. Second character out of five, Lady Tsunade, because she got them mommy milkers. Yo, no. <laughs> she got them fucking clapping, right. bro. And she got hands, bro. She got Yo, hands, bro. She's really old as fuck, bro. Yeah, bro. But look, looks old. She, you wouldn't hit, bro. You, <laughs> I you hear pause. Like, exactly. No. Nah, I hear pause. Yeah. What's going no, no, on here? No, 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 no. Bro, I pause, bro. bro. I'm not smashing them. Yes, you are. I don't know. You don't got why. You don't got why for it. We, we know. I don't know maybe. We know, bro. If nobody knew, bro. Yeah, she like 80, but like, you know what I mean? She got that never ending good health, bro. Yeah, Is she yeah, yeah. immortal at this point? Because, like, can she die? So well, she's basically like healing herself yeah. every fucking day to stay hmm. that same age. Hmm. They're like that yeah, same okay. age. But yeah, I like Sonata, bro, because honestly, she's a great fighter, right? I just like her character. I like her and Jiraiya's, like, a relationship. Like, she's a clown, and she's kind of like a grandmother to yeah, Naruto. Yeah, yeah, bro. And, like, when she's really fighting, bro, she could fucking fight, bro. Like, like, like the, th oh, the yeah. thought, like, she's, yeah. like, she's kind of like Rock Lee in the sense that, like, it's just her taijutsu, bro. Her taijutsu, like, if she hits you, bro. Yeah, you're dead. Like, I don't think there's anyone she can't hurt if she lands a hit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you're dead. That's kind of why I was tight that they didn't really give Sakura no love because like they she didn't. got the same shit. But like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean, if she could get land a hit, bro, it's going to hurt. It don't matter who she punched. Like that shit. Like, well, like well, her. like like you said, in, in Naruto, we just I'm on all realness though. In, in Naruto, they have a lot of wasted potential when it comes when when it comes down to their characters. Um, there's a lot of characters in Naruto that. Should have been a lot, a lot better, or should have been used a lot, you know, a lot better than what than what the series have. Like my next character. character. So go ahead, your next character. Mm. Kimu Maru. Okay. All right. Now, if you don't Keep know who that is, that's the guy with the bones that fought all the motherfuckers Naruto and all of them. And when they were trying to get Sasuke he back, <laughs> fought Rock, he fought Rock Lee. And the only reason he really like lost is because he was already dying and sick. But other than that, he would have been a fucking beast. And he was young as well. He wasn't yeah. as young as uh, mm -hmm. He was young too. And he had them fucking bones, bro. He could yep. really like just take bones, pull them out of his body. And also in the um, I want to say this too. In the anime and the manga, they portrayed it kind of differently because the manga like. It was like, like he, he would like grow the bones and he would like rip them out his skin. Mm -hmm. But in the, yeah. in the that's in the manga, but in the anime they didn't like really show it like that. Like it was just like they fused out his skin and yeah. it was like gentle. But in the yeah, manga yeah. you can still see the holes and shit like that. Like it was crazy. That's fine. But it's yeah. it's pretty like he he he's he's fire, bro. Like he's his design is fire. His skills are fire, and like his just every like his his skills his taijutsu like you seen him fighting Rock Lee like and drunken master Rock Lee at that you know yeah so, yeah that yeah again another good fight that that was another good fight yeah hmm. uh like you said my 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 next character you know underutilized but the concept of him is so great you know and I and I enjoyed I enjoyed every minute every time he's on the scene my man Shino. Hmm. Bugman? Yes. Yeah. Yes. He got, he got flying roaches that eat people. Yo. That joint crazy. Flying, yo, he <laughs> has <laughs> flying chakra eating insects, man. Yeah, and like yeah, that, that, yeah. that like, like, that's, that's ability that, that his whole clan that his whole clan has. But what gets me though is how far they nerfed them, even in the in Shippuden. Bro, um, yeah, they made like him a they, fucking. They're like, just teach, bro. You can't. Yeah, do just, like, just, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean in yeah. Bor Boruto, in Boruto, they just they, you're a teacher. Like, none of the kids have his ability. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, and it's crazy because that's that's a that's a really 
I want to see that ability evolve. I would love to see that ability evolve. Well, um, I got some facts about my guy, Tino, because he's one of my favorite characters, too, but you picked him. So, um, yeah, like, he is, like, he's actually the strongest member of his clan at the moment, and the bugs that, they have, like, certain different type of bugs that people um, can inherit, like, mm-hmm. when you're born, and Shino can inherit every single bug. Yeah. But he chooses not to because some of them are so deadly that if he fucking breathes or something like that, that his breath can kill people. Yeah. Almost yeah. like the gu- the guy uh Hanzo, like his breath was poisonous t- as well. Yeah. But yeah. Um yeah, Shino, yeah, he's he's a beast and they nerfed him in, in the summer games. They nerfed the shit out of him, bro. Come here, man. They nerfed the shit out of him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. Which is wild because they could do a lot. Actually, a lot of their stuff is kind of like there's a lot of nerf characters. I'm not even gonna front. Wait, Bruce, is Bruce talking? Yeah, yeah. What's up? Go ahead. Oh no, no, no. If you were talking, you're next. Oh no, no, I wasn't talking. Go ahead. You're next. Oh me? Oh okay. well, no, hold on. Yeah, wait. Is he? Is he? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you no, are next. You. No, no, I already you... went. Yeah, I already went. Oh yeah, that, 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 that is Chino. Was, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I Chino. Uh, I'm not gonna front. One of my favorite characters, like, I hope she gets more, like, uh, more play, bro. Because, like, she's literally the only fighting uh, Hayuga, but Hinata, mm-hmm. I, I, I fuck right. with her, bro. Because I, I'm fucking with her now because the potential. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm like, dog, she's the only one, the only Hayuga that we get to see fight, like, for real, now. Yeah. Because like, everybody else is pretty much, like, retired. Retired, and, like, yeah. You know, not really doing like, much. Yeah, <laughs> bro. And it's like they gave us a little bit of her when she fought pain, and then that was it. But it's like I'd like to which, see which that was a great moment. That kind of yeah. yo, great anybody, any yo, for real, for real anybody mm-hmm. who is in doubt, anybody mm-hmm. who is who is mm-hmm. in doubt that mm-hmm. that Hinata was not going to be with Naruto, that proved it right there. Hinata yep. was definitely going to be with Naruto at that yep. moment. Exactly. When bro. soccer was just sitting there all in the background screaming his name nothing. and you ain't doing shit, he doing not was just like, I, no, I will die for this. I will die for Naruto. Yep. She, she put herself mm-hmm. in the mix. That was like, listen, she gonna yeah. have your babies. She gonna have your babies. She gonna have your babies. That's it. Plain like, simple. Water? Easy. Easily, bro. Easy. Easy. But not yeah, no. He not he not he not is, is, a, is a, like she, she she's one of my favorite characters too. Um, one of it's crazy how, like I said, there's not too many female characters in Naruto where you can sit there and be like, yeah, you know, they they're a G, like you know, they have good abilities, but it just there is something about them that kind of just hangs, you know, that kind of holds them back a bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, Look, yeah. I would love to see them do something with Ten Ten. Dude, like, Ten Ten's her- useless, and they made her fat. <laughs> and it's great that we could, but, it, but I was like, yo, what's good with them, bro? That but it's crazy because that. because Ten Ten's ability makes yeah, she's a fire. weapon specialist. Mm-hmm. She's a weapon specialist, and especially and it's just right. up their taijutsu, bro. They should have really up their taijutsu, or at least gave her ninjutsu to put onto her weapons. Yeah, yeah. So her she tai can, tai like, tai they really just yeah. made her like an average. They did. Fighter, bro. They made she her. She could have been. She right. could have been an unnamed ninja, bro. Yep. Literally. Yeah, literally. She really could have. Like, she could have been. Yeah, she could. I, I hate that for her. Bro. I did yeah. because like her, like I said, like you said, there are a lot of wasted potential because like you said. She, like, 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 I would say, like I said, Ten Ten's ability could be very useful, especially in Boruto, with them introducing technology into their ninjutsu. Mm, yeah, you know what I mean. I don't understand why she she sits there owning a weapon shop. You should be in there inventing. You should be inventing, like, literally, like weapons that ninjas should be using to amplify their their ability. Hmm. You know what mm. I mean? But see, again, that's just lack of writing and not like you said, it's just it just just you're not taking care of your characters. That's what it boils down to. You're just not taking care of your characters. I mean, like I said, they did something with Hinata because Hinata was going to be Naruto's wife, like at the end. Right? But that's the only reason why they did something for her. 
Mm. Other than that, well, I mean, really she was kind of she was kind of destined for them to have to do something for her anyway. Well, because yeah. of her position in the um clan, like she was supposed to be uh the the next leader of the um the the, yeah, the, the Hugo, you know, the Hugo clan. The Hugo, yeah. So they had to do something with her anyway, you know. So yeah, yeah. I don't know why she was not the next leader. I think, but she was supposed to be. <laughs> So what's 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 right. what, what, what you Me? got? Yep. Oh, Toby Rama. All right, second yeah. Toby Rama, second yeah, Kage. Yeah. He's 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 uh one. Um, I am not a Uchiha hater. I am a Uchiha lover, actually. No homo. But he, yeah, I love Uchiha, her. which is actually funny, kind of. But not only that, like he's really stern on his beliefs. He's not playing. He don't take no shit. He don't take no talk back. He's just, like, really stern. Like, he's not one of those Hokages that, like, you know, like Naruto or fucking the first Hokage that's just happy about everything and all that bullshit. Nah, this nigga. Uh, I love, I love uh, Harishima. Also, <laughs> also he, he invented one of my favorite moves, um, Flying Rajin, mm-hmm. which is... Which is fire. That's the that's that's equivalent to like the body flicker job. Basically, you know, you know it's fast as it's, shit. Yeah, yeah, basically it's fast. Wasn't he like the fastest uh it's instant. It's not even fast. It's like it's it's yeah. almost like instant transmission. Like yeah, wherever yeah. his seal is at, boom. That's where he at. Yeah, that's where he at. So, like, yeah, and so and then Naruto's daddy, he picked that up. He invented <laughs> yep. like a lot of he also invented a lot of uh you know, jitsus and ninjutsus and stuff. Like, he invented a lot of them. So he's like, he, he, he's just one of my favorite dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dope. He's dope. Yeah, he he's dope, man. Uh, So my, my, my final, my final his selection. His design, too. All right, his design is fire, too. But go ahead. Yep, oh, yeah, it is, it is. Oh, yeah, no, nah, yeah, his design is on point. Um, My last, my, my final pick, because, like I said, I had he not on my list, too. But, you know, he, you know, yep, we, we can share, we can share, but, you know, but um, my final pick, and you know what though, like I you said, a lot, a, a lot, a lot of people, a lot, a lot, a lot of people really, really not gonna agree with this, and they gonna be like, why? But it's like I have my reasons though, and that's Aruka Sensei. All right, not the strongest person, not the strongest character, and like I said, he is like pretty much the number one background character you could say in Naruto. But the significance that he has with Naruto really like. He, he's a really good character. He was a good character that that that, 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 that was created that was created for the plot to ground Naruto, you know. And I don't know that last episode of Shippuden, um, when Naruto like when 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 they when they asked, when they, when when Naruto asked Aruka Sensei basically like yo, like can you be the one like to 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 walk my wife down like you know like or not was it like do you ask like. Basically invite him to the wedding, but it was basically kind of yeah, like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it, was, it was something on the lines of like, look, like you're, you're like my father figure kind of thing. And I was like, yo, that, yeah. that, that, that moment, I was like, yo, Iruka deserved that. Like if anybody out of the Leaf Village deserved that, it was, it, it was Iruka. Like, you know, the, um, like they said, he was, he, was, he was such a genuine, he was such a genuinely nice character. You don't, like I say, you don't really see him in a fighting position, and it's very rare to he, see him in a fighting position. He's a, he's a loser, but we talked about this earlier. He's the reason why Naruto was a good guy wow. and didn't go rogue. He's he's not a loser, and man. Yeah, he's, he's a not, loser. He's not a he's loser. The reason man. Why, Get out of here. <laughs> he's the reason why Naruto didn't go rogue and destroy the village and killed everybody because Naruto could have eventually. Oh, he could have. Um, so hey. if it wasn't for um, Aruka Sensei. You know, Naruto would have went down a totally different path. Oh, uh, so kudos to him. And Bruce, that's wow. not your last. You gotta pick one more, even though you can't do Hanada, you gotta do one more. I gotta do so one more. Yeah. Alright, all right. Well, that's a, that's why we're going around then. Hmm. <laughs> that's what we on four, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So go, 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 go ahead, uh, Brandon. Let's see. Ho, ho, hopefully, you don't, you don't, you don't steal, steal another selection of mine. <laughs> well, 
No, I doubt it. I doubt it, bro. My last one, uh, Asuma Saratobi. Yeah, you know, that's my uh, Saratobi. Saratobi that's my guy. Good, man. Yeah, that bro. Was a, it was an honorable mention if he was going to do that. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he, definitely he died, bro. Like, I felt that. Yeah, I, like, I mean, bro. I did. He went but out he like has, he has my favorite summoning. Like, his summoning jutsu is definitely like the top. Like, it's like, he summons that monkey, bro, in that big ass staff. Like it's like fire. Yeah. It's just fire, bro. Like he's fire, bro. And he was what? like uh, the strongest shinobi or some shit. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. The strongest what? I'm sorry. The strongest he's... shinobi. He was like known as like the strongest shinobi or something. Like yeah, that. just like his pop, bro. That's why I was like, yo, the the. the I think the dude he fought was the only dude who probably could have killed him, bro. The way that he did, bro. Because I was like, damn. Like, he linked his body with his, and he just took all that damage. But I was like, because, like, Saratobi, man, like, I just like his fighting style with the fucking blades on the knuckles, bro. And then he liked them bitches oh, on Oh, you fire. talking about, oh, you talking about, I thought you were talking about the third Hokage. Wait a minute, no, you, do, you doing Asuma? Yeah, Asuma, bro. Oh, not, not, yo, bro, dude, that's... this is Saratobi, man. Yeah, yeah that's his that's his last name. It's Asuma Saratobi, bro. Saratobi, He's the kid. Bro. Yeah, but you guys think Asuma. Yo, you should just suck. Oh, that's why y'all were saying that. Cause I was like, I was like, what y'all mean like strongest? Like he's he's like a regular yeah, bro, dude. Why you like, say Asuma, bro? You wilder. Uh, he's <laughs> lit, bro. talking about the third Hokage, bro. Nah, I like, like him too, bro, but I feel like that's too obvious. Like I gotta go with people. That's why I yeah, said I mean, no, it didn't affect me when he died. Asuma death was kind of fucked. Yeah. Oh bro. yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. And also that came out of nowhere too. Yeah, dude. Like the guy he fought, like that's OD, bro. Like what? Yeah. But I also wonder why he wasn't as strong as his dad. Who's his mom? Did they ever like reveal? Like who's that shit? They don't reveal, man. Yeah, bro, because that's my thing. I'm like, dog, like <laughs> trying to see who mom's ah, man. You, 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 you hey, know, you like, know what? You you really just picked you really just picked another line because I was going to pick Asuma. I was yeah, like, you were? Oh, I'm so sorry, bro. I so he said Saratobi. I'm thinking Third yeah, Okage. I'm thinking so I'm like, okay, Saratobi. Yeah. Okay, all right. Asuma, so, so bro. Yeah, he, man. He said like, Asuma. Damn. Oh, That's his last name, so people know the vibes, bro. But you didn't say Asuma Saratobi, though. You didn't, dude, I didn't hear you say the Asuma part. Well, I apologize. You know, begin your hopes up. <laughs> All right, my 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 fourth one is is no other than Run on Sight Ninja, Yellow Flash, aka Minato. Minato Zamaki. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he's 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 just a beast, bro. He's a different level type beast, bro. Uh, you know my thing, class. Bro? Nobody never scored higher than him in the fucking tuning exams, like just except for um Itachi. I think Itachi got the same score or some shit, or might have scored higher. If what, I'm not then, mistaken. Then Minato? Yeah. I think I think I think Itachi might have got the, either the same score or higher. Or some shit like that. A perfect score. One of them. But yeah, bro, like he was a run on site ninja, meaning like, you know, all the other fucking clans or, or all the other villages, if you see him run. Like, don't fucking fight him because he's going to kill you. Like, yep. And that's what I liked about the old Naruto days. Like, they, like they, not, they, not, yeah. not, not, not the you know the the first series. I'm talking about like when they when they give you the flashbacks and the stories and shit. The yeah. old days before Naruto was born. Yeah, shit. they were just killing they people, were killing bro. Niggas. They yeah, were, bro. It was yep. crazy. Because I'm not gonna front. Who did Naruto kill, bro? I don't think he killed nah, bro, Naruto, anyone, bro. Nah, he, He's like a pacifist. He just beat the shit out of you, bro. He's like okay, Luffy. Hold on. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, bro. Like I only know like a few other. It's only three other ninjas I know that had run on sight orders. Two of them was in the leaf, and that's uh, Fukaku, which is Sasuke's dad, mm-hmm. and uh, Kakashi's dad. <laughs> and yeah. then the other, the third one was um, Danzo. Not Donzo, Hanzo from the uh, Hidden Rain Village. Mm. Okay, yeah. 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 So, like, not many ninjas get that. <laughs> like, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? 
Just run, yeah, that's, bro. That's ah, ah. Imagine that's running into them, though, bro. <laughs> I know, bro. Like, that's crazy. I, I think realistically speaking, right, if you really lived in the Shinobi world, bro, like, you, nine times out of ten, you don't even see the ninja, bro. Exactly. Like, you just fucking die, bro. Like, like, imagine Minato senses you from a distance. You're just jumping through trees and shit. He puts his fucking... Uh, Fly se- you know yeah, you. the fucking seal <laughs> near a tree. He knows you're going to pass by, bro. And then he just flashes in and stabs you in your fucking neck, bro. And then flashes back to where... Yeah, bro. And it's, it's just, just like, bro. what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, let's not forget another moment he had in the anime legendary moment when he fought uh Obi. You're gonna call him Toby. But yeah, yeah. you know Obito. When he fought Obito he thought it was uh he Somebody thought it was um, damn what's the nigga name? He thought it was uh you know Madara. That, uh, yeah Madara. Yeah, well, Madara. Yeah. yeah he thought it was Madara. Yeah. And he hit him with that flying Rajin fucking Fucked him up. Or Sengon, that shit was crazy, that, bro. Like, that, 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 that was like, sick. Like, how the that fuck do you guard against that if you don't know about it, bro? That shit yeah, just yeah. Pops, pulls up on you, bro. You gotta, like, to know to fight him, you have to know about him. And then the second step is being on his level. So yeah. it's like a two-stage fucking yeah, for real, for real. thing, bro. Bro, I just love that Naruto didn't even know his fucking dad. And he still had his personality, bro. I fucking yeah. love that shit, bro. I was like, damn. Sort of, that was a really. genetic thing. <laughs> That's yeah, a genetic bro. right there, he man. Sort of, he sort of had his personality. Yeah. Nah, he Not had his personality, really. bro. He did, bro. Nah, bro. Minato was all fucking positive, bro. Just the positivity alone. Well, yeah, that con- that part. Yeah. yeah. Minato and was I mean, like a fucking a brilliant fucking genius. So Naruto ain't that. Like well, he grew into it, bro. Because now he's a genius. Like, like at the point he's at now, it just took he's training. He's a fighting genius. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's he he's not a uh, book smart, but to be yeah. able to read situations and shit, bro. Naruto, Naruto is with that shit now. Yeah, it's just that right. he always tries to save people, though. That's the problem. Yeah. Like, like even his enemies, he'll be like, "Yo, I'm just gonna." Fight you to the point where you know you can't beat me, so hopefully you just stop fighting, right? Yeah, they call it talk no jutsu. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> talk no jutsu, man. You yeah. first did that shit with Gara. <laughs> yep. He's like, bro, like, I'm going to beat your ass. Like, just stop, bro. Like, that's how he is. Bro. Yeah. And then he just does that until <laughs> they try to kill him. And then, or like, they hurt somebody he loves. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's that's when he he's like, all right. Look, man. I mean, look, the greatest the greatest talk no juice is definitely when he when he fought when he fought pain, you know. Yeah, I mean, look, put it like this, man. This dude wreck no this 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 dude pretty much destroyed everything, he destroyed everything right. that that Naruto believed in, including Kakashi. You know, yeah. including Kakashi, and then you know Naruto talked his talked his way out, to, literally talked his niggas and said, right. yo. You're gonna rebuild, like re- rebuild our village, and bring Kakashi back to life, like, right. <laughs> like you really just did that shit, like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, Naruto! Right, All, All right, that, bro. so my final one, cause I had to, I had 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 to, had to do some, I had to do some brain scratching, some searching, and I'm picking him only because look, I, I, I think yo the dude was on point. I love the fight, and this was the first time you asked like the writers actually gave Sakura something to do. All right, I gotta give it up to Sosuri. Okay, man, listen, this dude, like, I mean, look, I mean, I always, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I like Conqueror. And I like Sosuri because I like the the puppet gimmick. I like for some reason yeah. that that seems so cool. Mm-hmm. That every really? everything about That's, that seems so cool. I think I think the, if he met like, if he met like the right puppet maker, I mean he did meet like the oh the yeah no he did maker. he met the bro, legendary he, puppet uh, maker. He was, bro, mm-hmm. he he is the reason why one of the um damn Kazakage is went missing. Like, yeah, he turned him into a puppet, bro. He turned. And he was known as the strongest Kazakage too. Yeah. I think it was the third one. Wait, who? Who? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. He, he was like, he's like the strongest puppet master. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, and he I met like him. Too. 
But dude. I'm like, yo, if that guy wasn't like a fucking psychopath, I think he could have made a puppet that like a stronger one. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I oh feel yeah, like, no, definitely. Like, like, dude, imagine some of these geniuses were given the same tools that they gave like Orochimaru. Orochimaru. Like Orochimaru, he gets to work in peace, bro. Like he gets his own lab. He mm -hmm. gets as much time as he wants. He gets all the resources to do all his experiments, bro. So imagine that Puppet Master got all that same shit. Like, yeah. I think he would be able to make a puppet for Conqueror who that would, like, you know, like, he could fight fucking, you know, like, Madara with that oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Like, like, yeah, and not even be there, bro. Like, I think that's crazy. That is. That's a crazy... I, like, uh, I said, I only, like I said, I, I, I like Sorcery just based upon his ability alone the puppeteering that he that he does, and also like I said, the fight that that fight between oh my god that mm -hmm. that, 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 that fight between Sakura and and uh damn I forgot I forgot her name the uh, old lady yeah oh my mm -hmm. god I yeah. can't think of her name but she, that, she yo that old lady all right, all right. she she basically like she was a beast though she, she was, was yeah but she used to like fight one of my favorite characters is Hanzo. And uh, yeah. which is the poison guy? His yeah, breath was so poison. If he take off his mask, like everybody in the area would die. And she like developed. Hanzo? Yeah, Hanzo. Not Donzo. Not yeah. Hanzo. Not Donzo. Yeah. Yeah. But she yeah. she developed like she she basically like dedicated her whole life to making her puppets uh counter poisons. Like if he poisons somebody, then she could like counter it. Mm -hmm. Like or making poisons like stronger than his and shit. Like, oh, you know, yeah. that's just yeah. that's one thing about her. But she was a beast, though. She was a beast. Oh yeah, not straight up. Sakura was a different thing. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Oh, overall, like I said, Naruto overall is a great is is is, a, is definitely a great series. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, the anime for as far as Baruto goes. Hold on, hold on. It, our next one. Let's get our last one first. Man, I don't have any more, man. I know. <laughs> That's you all I got. Someone, you huh? have one more character, bro. bro. I don't have any more, man. You know? Bro, I don't have, have any more. That is my last bro, one. All the Hokages, bro, none of them make it. Bro, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm trying not to pick, like, Hokages. Why, like bro? Because they're already them, up there. That's you why. Them, you like them, bro. bro they're already up there. Like, yeah, if you like them, to, you like yeah, them, bro. Go I, pick yeah, one, bro. I'm not, I'm, not pick, I'm not picking a Hokage, bro. Nah, we good. Pick one, bro. I pick nah. two Hokage. I don't have no shame. Go ahead. You, you pick, you pick. Your... Matter of fact, Raikage. Raikage? Oh, yeah. Thunder? When did... Yep. All right, my last. You want to go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What? My last pick is um Karama. Karama? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's my last pick, bro. Cause, right. like, honestly, he's the he's he's the strongest tail beast, besides the ten tails. But I don't count the ten tails. And ten tails no but amalgamation anyway. He really was like manipulated through like most of the series and shit. Like, um, yeah, bro. Like he didn't even really he was, like controlled by like Madara and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And that's what fucking attacked the village and shit. So I got you. I got you. I got you. And that's that's what happened. Like, so that's my favorite character. You know, he he made Naruto a beast, um, and that's what it is, man. Like, that's my favorite. Character. What is he Not now? Favorite, what is he character. now? Yeah. See, he yeah. went silent because he don't. He can't tell no, me no, no, what he is no. now. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I got mine. Go ahead, go I ahead. Got mine. <laughs> So my last final character, right? Uh -huh. brings me mad joy all the time. Right? It's fucking Konohamaru. Right? right. Konohamaru. He's just he's just bro. It's just good vibes, bro. Like, do I think he's gonna become Hokage? Uh I think he's gonna be in a situation like um Kakashi. Where uh -huh. he's Hokage for interim. Like, you know, he does like a few years or yeah. whatever. And then I think uh, my girl Sarada. Sarada is going to do her thing. 
I think she's gonna do her thing, become Hokage. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can see that. They're popping, you know. But Konohamaru, right, so he, I like he, him, bro, because he's he's willing to like die, bro. Like, like he's yeah. just like, hey, man, if I gotta die, you know, to fulfill my duty, I guess I'm gonna die. You know, yeah. but Impulse? he's not as driven as like uh he's not as driven as fucking uh Naruto was though, because Naruto when he's about to die, he'd be on some shit like, Oh, I can't die yet, because I gotta be Hokage. Yeah. Konohamaru yeah. is on the type of time, he's just like, ah shit. Well <laughs> I'm a shinobi, right. so you know, shit like this happens, you know. Too bad I didn't make it. <laughs> it's okay. But I right, like him, bro. He's really supportive, bro, and he's like willing to yeah, he lays his life on the line, bro. He does. Plus, he's, he's nice now, bro. His taijutsu is fucking lit. I was about to say, he had yes. the fight scenes in Boruto when he fought this yeah. big dude. Mm-hmm. He had oh. this It was this one sequence. Yeah, I know exactly like, what you're talking about, bro. Yeah. put the knife in him and then and kicked it. Kicked the knife yeah, in. bro. Like, yeah. That's fire, bro. I watched that scene like 10 times, bro. Bro, like, that was, that was good. Yeah. He fucked him up. Bro, that was fucking yeah. fire, bro. So yeah, bro. So, yeah, he I nice. agree with you. Nice yeah, con- yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and, I, and I don't like how they like kind of nerfing him because I think he should be way stronger than what he is. He should be way stronger, bro. Yeah. He should. Because yeah. he can throw like fucking... He could do like ten Rasengans in a row, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, his yeah, chakra yeah. should be way more than what they be. They be capping, bro. They do. They be capping, and they should give him more jutsus to suit his uh to suit his style, bro. Because like, what the hell? Yeah. Right, right, right. Well, like you said, yeah, his five jutsu is fine. It is. So that, we're we're done. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So that's our uh, our favorite Naruto character. Nice, nice little Naruto discussion that we have here. Um, I don't think we're gonna be doing like Bleach favorite character because I never even read Bleach or watched Bleach, so I can't really, I can't, I can't, I can't really say anything about that. But we'll find yeah, another right. anime where we can do our top top ten, or we can do our top five, or top five. We already did favorite characters of all time. Did we? Yeah. Bo 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 bo. That's that's mine. That's mine. <laughs> I don't remember us doing that, but yeah, bo 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 bo. That was my shit. Bo 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 bo. You gotta say the right it's, number. You, got, of you, bows, you, you do. You gotta say the right number of bows, man. If you don't, bo, man, bo 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 bo. That's yeah. it. No, that's not it. Yeah, yeah it it's bo 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 bo. Yeah, yeah, that's bo bo bo. Bo 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 bo. No, no, no. See, no, you, no. you add an extra bow. You no, add an bro, extra bow. Yes, you bo, add an bo, extra bow. Bo 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 bo. bo, bo. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, That's you said. One. Yeah, yeah. But for first, you added you added one extra to that ending of bow, and you well, did. I said bo 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 bo. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's like three extra bows. Bro. You did. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can we talk about how strong this nigga is though? Because he could knock niggas out with hair, bro, and one strand. All right, all right. Look, look. If you're gonna, you know okay, look, look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If, if if you want, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Matter of fact, bro. matter of fact, matter, matter of fact. <laughs> before before we get into the to, to the to the Dragon Ball Super discussion, right? I'm gonna say this: Who will win the fight? Because like I say, these are parody fighters. These are parody anime fighters here. Uh, One Punch Man, you know, Saitama, or Bubble Bow, who is going to win? Because, okay. like I said, they're both parody fighters. One Punch Man got the yeah. One Punch thing, but Bubble Bow can take any ability from any anime to suit his needs. Mm-hmm. There's Come no on. way in heaven's so, hell that Bubble Bow could beat. One bro. Yes, there is. Yes, there is, bro. He can literally just pull up with uh, Leonidas's fucking counter sword shit. He can, and then just like, because one punch, bro, one punch time. just, one punch yeah. just needs a reversal technique, bro. Mm-hmm. It's just that bro. no one in the One Punch universe has that. Like, yeah, that so. ability. You see the crazy. No, no, see here, here's the no, thing. Here's the thing. No, no. The crazy, the crazy thing about Bobo. Bo. Hold on. The, the crazy, it. the crazy thing about Bobo Bo is, like, there are characters in there that will do anything to suit their needs. 
They are literally parody characters. They're like the Looney Tunes of anime. What they have to do with this fight? Was that? What they got to do with this fight? What it got to do with this fight is, like you said, respectively in their universes, respectively where what what the, the characters are. Bobo has, Bobo has 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 an arsenal of animes that they can counter, like say Thomas One Punch. What, what y'all forgetting, and everybody that forgets about One Punch Man, is that he doesn't only have one punch. He, it only takes him one punch. But if he wants to get in your ass, no homo. He's going to trash you. If, no, bro. If, if, but how if, can he do it if you are if you're if you have cartoon antics? No, bro. He has one serious punch, bro. But the other punches are just no, regular doesn't. punches, bro. No, he doesn't, bro. No, no, That's just how strong that one serious punch is. Like I know, punch, bro. That punch but, look, every punch, bro. All right, all right. Hear me out. Hear me out. Leonidas from Seven Deadly Sins, right? His count full counter counters anything, bro. Not one punch, man. That's yeah, but that's the that's the gimmick of his weapon, though, bro. It counters anything. Like it doesn't. I know it's not fair, but like that's why it doesn't exist in the one punch universe, bro. Because like, if if Leonardo just pulled up and he blocks the one serious punch with the full counter shit, bro, that's it. Like. I'm sure Saitama, though, could withstand one of his own punches. But, like, what if he sends, like, a hundred of them bitches, bro? And then they all get countered, bro. Like, all Bobo Bo has to do is just keep doing that troll-ass shit, bro. Which he will do. Yeah. Yep. Which he will do. Is it cartoon antics, my friend? Cartoon <laughs> antics. All right. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. No, no. Am I tripping? Because, hold on. Wasn't there an episode in Dragon Ball Super, if I'm not mistaken... Um, what is that? Yeah. Ariel, yeah, Ar- mm-hmm. hold on. Ariel fought Vegeta, mm-hmm. right? It's different. And who won? Oh, oh, it's different, but it's cartoon antics. Cartoon antics trumps any any serious fighting style. But One Punch Man is not a serious fighter. Is He's he? a cartoon antics too. Like, so yeah. hey, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. The most serious fighting though I've ever seen. No, but he's an antic though. <laughs> he, he's an antic. He's an antic, but he's an antic that cannot copy. He's not a cartoonified antic. Like Bobo is a cartoonified antic. Like, like I said, nose hairs. He could transform into different things. He could have a missile shoot out of his goddamn afro. Like, yo, like he's he's a he's a walking Looney Tune anime basically. So anything that suits his needs, he will counter and he will do. Say Tama just had, like I said, his ability is that one punch, that one punch effect, but it's not enough for cartoon antics. It's not. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, it's just not. <laughs> but let's go into so, Dragon so, Ball. So, so, go ahead, go ahead, so, go ahead. So Bugs Bunny could beat Goku. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Not be like know, right? you, you would hate it, but you, like yeah. you, you would hate it, but he, well, you could, yeah, because it's no, no, no. bro. Bugs if Doctor Slump can, character, can, dude, like, he's he's in, he's invincible, bro. He's invincible with like an unlimited power level, bro. Looney Tune characters have no limits, bro. They, like, they, a, they have a, no limits. A, a Looney Tune character can be thrown into the sun, bro. Yeah, and they'll come back. With no scratches, bro. Like, yep. like a Looney Tune character will inhale the sun like it's a hot balloon, bro. Like, like Looney Tune characters have they don't make sense, bro. Like, like literally, like, like literally, like if you, <laughs> want, if you want to put it in perspective, like if you want to put this in perspective, the mask, right? Take mm. the mask. Anybody with with the ability of the mask, like, will basically be like undeniably invincible. Because they're yeah. basically a walking cartoon. They could do anything. They could transform yep. anything. They could make be... anything to their own free will. Yep. That's what make that. That's what literally mm-hmm. make the mask character like very powerful because it's literally like that mask turns you into a walking cartoon. Yeah, dude. There was a scene where Daffy Duck, right? His head blows up. I don't know if it was like a shotgun from. Like bugs or or whatever. I just remember the scene. His head blows up, and it just looks like a burnt match, and his beak is on it, bro. Like 
There's no brain. No, not, my man was still alive, bro. He's back in the next scene. Yeah. Perfect, bro. Perfect. Like you can't, you can't beat. <laughs> like you, you can't imagine. Beat a, like a, hold up, keep imagine go, go, Goku doing like a spear bomb or like a Kamehameha to Bugs Bunny, and the only thing Bugs Bunny get is 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 singed fur. Like you know, you're like even, hey, even, you burnt yeah, my tail. Even. Like hey, you burnt my tail. You know, and bro. he does some well. You know, does some does some quick antics. You know, to to nullify anything that Goku does. Yeah, dude. Like Bugs Bunny will literally appear behind Goku, leaning on his shoulder, chewing a carrot. You know, just like you know, w w what's up, Doc? But just like <laughs> on some dumb shit, bro. How he do we be Goku? How do we get and, to and this every, conversation? Every every Goku fan would just be tight, bro. Like that's that's it. Like you just gotta accept. It's okay, bro. He would do that to anyone's favorite character, bro. You know? <laughs> like, okay. anyone, bro. Anyone could get those Bugs Bunny hands, bro. It doesn't even yeah. have to be Bugs. It could literally be any Looney Tune character. <laughs> it doesn't even gotta be, bro. Like... That, yeah. No, I mean, like I said, yeah. it, it is what it why, is. That's why Looney Tunes is not in anime though. Yeah. Because, Looney Tunes not a, but like I said, it but it's already been proven that like cartoony antics can beat Dragon Ball power levels because like I said in the Dragon Ball Super episode when when and even in back in Dragon Ball, when Goku went to Doctor Slump land and Doctor Slump is, is more of a cartoonish like, you know, just comedy type type thing, just regular antics. And R uh, Ariel, the the um, you know, the main protagonist in Doctor Slump, literally like beat Vegeta in a fight, or yeah. just regular antics, just 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 average cartoony antics. Dumb so yeah, nah, it's it's been. I mean, it's dumb shit, but it is what it is. Yeah, cartoony it is antics. That's the whole point. Cartoony antics is dumb shit. It has no grounds of reality in it. It has no grounds of like making sense you know yep. like you're, yep. you're literally breaking you're literally breaking like reality as it goes on yep that's that's cartoony antics you know yep that's, but, that's basically <laughs> continue yep. with that um let's see dragon ball super I mean, yeah we're going to talk about dragon ball super with their reveal of trunks and goten and for the movie so Trash. what do you guys think? Trunks and Goten. Trash. They're they're grown up. <laughs> they're grown up. Hold up, wait, let me let me see if I can find a picture of Trunks and Goten. Trash. Straight up trash. Wait, uh, yo, uh, a yeah. a brisket. Did 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 you see the picture of that? Goten and Trunks grown up in in the new Dragon Ball movie. Well, did you did you send it? What about the, this? Uh... Yep, Dragon Ball Super. Was it it's Super Heroes, right? Yeah. I forgot to send that earlier. All right, here we go. Mm hmm. Well, I'm trying to get the yeah, the picture. Yeah, there we go. I, I'm about to say, you want me to do it? I got it. All right. There we go. Right here. It's on. It's it's on. It's trash. <laughs> <laughs> so Dragon trash. Ball. <laughs> I mean that that looks like a I mean, who's that supposed to be? That's Goten and Trunks for for the Goten. new movie Dragon Ball Super uh Dragon Ball Super Superheroes. Uh the new Dragon Ball Super movie is coming out uh later later on this year. Uh I think it comes out in the spring. I think April. And it's yeah. So I'm I was like the they had they had no choice. I'm gonna say this, they had no choice to do this. They had they they had to grow them up. 
Because they know, like you said, because Super, we've been complaining about this for the I longest hate- time in Super. Why we ain't getting no? But like I said, I'm, I'm like we, we like, like we're complaining about why they haven't grown Goten and Trunks up during Dragon Ball Super when it, when it was airing, or even in the manga, um, as it's still going on. Now I hate I hate blue hair Trunks and I hate Goten's outfit and I hate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why he got why he got them fucking sketchers on and why the fuck. <laughs> Damn. Why he don't got his boots on like his yellow cool ass boots? Like, uh, got yeah, boots. bro. They they got they kind of you know what they they, they, they modernize it, relate, bro. They're trying to relate to. I, 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 I guess they modern regular shoes on. Like he could have gave him some kind of like. To be honest, I mean, look. To be honest, I can see Goten wearing stuff like that because you look 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 at Goten when he was growing up or as he growing up. Like he it. always wore like he yeah, but he always wore something like that, you know. And I could see him even as in the like even like him growing up, he's still wearing that same stuff. Now, that's not that's I, that's probably not their fighting uniform. And being the fact that they showed him like this, I honestly don't think they're gonna be a big part of the movie. They probably not even gonna they probably not even gonna have a fight scene. You don't think so? I, mean, I highly doubt do, it. It's gonna be a gag scene because so, so, if, you yeah. the, if you look at the picture, they already got the fucking. Well, what's the movie gonna wrong? be about then? You know, in that situation. Well, the movie in general, again, they're using the Red Ribbon Army, so they they come back. It's like, yo, get rid of the Red Ribbon Army. Damn, like how many times are you gonna do this Red Ribbon Army shit? I mean, they're the biggest threat on the earth. So who else you gonna have? The biggest what? But how you right. gonna sit there, huh? Right. I ain't gonna sit there and say Red Ribbon Army is the biggest threat in the earth, where literally Goku got rid of them. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's just They're an army, bro. Like, what do you want? He They're destroyed army. the whole fucking army in Dragon Ball. Yo, well, you never came back yeah. Dragon Ball Z, and they still here. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just saying. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, don't know. Yeah. I mean, it just like like I said, it just. They're, they're they're basically reusing like older shit. Like they they really I don't know. I honestly like I said, I really have no words. What I think yeah, I know. I'm still they could have yeah. They could have went so many routes they, with they, this they, movie. They, they could have. Instead, they just fucking made more androids. And well, we already know they yeah they go. They're making more androids. Some reason or another, something tells me they're gonna combine some some way or another, and they're gonna become <laughs> some type of super whatever whatever android. Yeah. All right. Yeah. At the just end of the day. Funny. Like at no. the end of the day, Vegeta's gonna get his ass whooped. For some reason, Broly also gonna probably get his ass whooped, and it's gonna be up to Goku to get to save the day yet again because they don't well, give nobody else a W. Wait, wait, get is Broly is Broly now? Uh, uh, he's on the good side now. Is we don't know, yet, bro. Yeah, he oh, okay. is, but we don't know. Yeah. But I'm glad, now, bro. Because Broly was my it. dude, bro. I love that. You man. see in the trailer that. Uh, Piccolo's getting his ass whooped, so you yeah, know, he don't get no. You already know that's happening. Yeah. He don't get no time. It's, it's just annoying, bro. It's, it is. Just, I'm still I'm like, like I said, this. Let's listen. They're still gonna get our money. I'm, I'm, I'm still gonna pay to go see this movie. So I'm gonna pay about maybe what was it? You know, normally, normally a movie like this, they never show this on matinee. It's always gonna be on some. Or they're only gonna be on some prime time hours, you know. So I'm at the I'm at the dish out like twenty three dollars to go see a uh, an anime movie either at Plymouth Meeting, <laughs> either at Plymouth Meeting, or or either or either at the Ritz Theater because that's probably like the only two places. There's gonna be like two spots around Pennsylvania, around around Philadelphia that's gonna that's gonna be showing this movie for some odd reason. Right. You know the vibes, bro. You know the vibes. I already know the vibes, and that's why I'm like, kind of like, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of these vibes, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know. But yet, I'm still gonna listen. I'm literally, I'm, I'm literally doing the same thing what Madden fans do. I buy the game, I'll complain, and I'll say, "Damn, this food is nasty," and I still eat the damn food. And then, uh, yeah, I'm still turning around and complaining, but yet I'm still going to go out and I'm still going to buy it and I'm still going to spend my money. And more than likely, regardless of how I feel about this movie, I'm going to buy the Blu-ray DVD copy and add it to my goddamn collection. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. That's, I'm being real. I'm, I'm, I, I am a, I'm a dumbass consumer. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's okay, bro. You know, acceptance is the first step. 
acceptance is the first step, but you know, you know what? It's a, it's a poisonous first step, man. Cause you know, I still repeat this. I still re repeat this offense. <laughs> I still repeat this. Jeez, <laughs> man. And then that go that kind of leads into Dragon Ball Super, the latest cha- the latest chapter, Dragon Ball Super, um, which it wasn't a bad it wasn't a bad chapter, you know they, I mean they 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 they, they moved the, the fight along. You know what I will say this, while reading the latest Dragon Ball Super chapter, I did like the way how. I did like the the fighting style of it. I like the fighting style of it. Now, I'm still gonna say this: I don't like gas. I don't like the heaters. I think they are just. I, I, I think they just. They're, they're just crap, in my opinion. Like straight up. Like, I don't like the fact. Like every Dragon Ball, it felt like every Dragon Ball antagonist. Like they had some sort of they, they they always always had the will to say you know what this is my strength and I'm gonna whoop your ass with my strength you know they work hard to get to where they at Frieza which is just naturally strong right Frieza is naturally strong so like it was just like he didn't wish for this he just did it you know Cell you know even though yes he was created but yet he had to search and hunt Android seventeen eighteen to become perfect. And his way of doing that was basically to gas up Vegeta <laughs> to, yeah. to be like, yo, like, like if I was perfect, like, yo, you beat me now. But if I was perfect, you wouldn't beat me then, you know? And if Vegeta, like I said, he knew how Vegeta thought he knew his ego was going to be, was going to get checked then, you know, cause it was anybody else. Let it, let that been Piccolo. Let that have been Piccolo where Piccolo was well, whooping his ass. <laughs> Whooping right. Cell's ass, and Cell would be like, <laughs> and Cell would have been like, "Ugh, he only beat me because I'm not perfect. If I was perfect, you wouldn't have beat me." And then, and then Piccolo Fire would have been like, "Oh, that's you, that's a you problem there. Kill." And that would have been it. But no, he did it to the right person, Vegeta, because Vegeta was like, "So you're what you're saying is you're perfect, and you're yeah. telling me that I can't beat you when you're perfect? Yeah. Bet there's 18 right over there, Eater." Go ahead, absorb her ass. All right, I'm gonna whoop you. Yeah. Like you know, all of that. Like you know, even like I said, Majin Buu, he was just magic, but he was just like strong as hell, right? Gas is just they make he wished to be the strongest warrior, and then act like, oh, I am like you know, like oh, this 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 is my ability because you know I trained so hard for. It. Like nigga, no, you're supposed to be a warrior. Like most warriors, it's like, look, don't wish for me to be strong. I can be strong on my own. Yeah, true. And but like, what, what what makes this what what makes this interesting though? And like I said, I th- th- this, that's the reason why I don't like gas. I don't like the heaters because they kind of take these shortcuts that's not really too fond of what Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and even some of Super have brought us up to be. But the fact that they didn't make this wish, gas is okay with this. He like some of his ability makes like it's it's actually really good. I mean I ain't gonna lie. The fights are pretty are pretty mesmerizing. Like there's this one point where um you know he's fighting like he's fighting Goku, but like he's using the train, the train system on the planet to basically move around. Like the use like he's using those those little abilities like that. He's setting up traps and everything like that. Um it's a different way of them fighting, which is not just in your face. Like nice. pound for pound, yeah. like fighting style, and then like I said, of course, like near the end of the chapter, um, it, you know, Goku basically showcased his ability of engine transmission. He felt a trace of Jocko on another planet, and he was able to engine transmission, uh, him and Gas to that same location where Jocko is in, and basically, um, they, you know, a little a little fight on that planet, but then he basically tells him. You know, like um, see see if you can follow me. Can you catch up to me? And that's when Goku does another engine transmission. But he goes to a, he feels like he goes to another planet. Look like he has like an extra ability, or he's able to. Like I said, he definitely mastered the ability of engine transmission. But now you could really get to see the greater effects of instant transmission, not just him just standing there for a few seconds and just like I'm trying to figure out where he's at. Look like he's able to just like sit there and fight, fight, fight. I feel somebody's presence and he's 
he can go boom like that into transmission. And that's basically where that chapter's in. Wasn't a bad chapter. Pretty action packed. But overall, like I said, we just gotta I just gotta I kinda want this whole art to kinda run its course though at the end of the day. Uh, but that's about it for Dragon Ball Super. And we'll go into what are we watching? So guys, what are we watching? What y'all watching these days, this week? I just I just finished up a ranking of Kings. Oh, uh, so you caught up. up. Yeah. Oh, although, yeah. Although I haven't, um, I haven't, unless, unless they came out with a new episode. When do they release? Like Thursday. I, I, Thursday. So yeah. I'm probably like one episode behind. You went up so far. Where, where, where you left off at? Mm-hmm. Where'd you leave uh, off? I left off. I left off on, uh, he's about to fight. Is he about to fight anybody, actually? Hmm? He's about to... He... Is he already fighting, uh... What's the name? Damn, I forget his name. The dude in the, in the, in the night. The night, uh, suit. The one, the one with the mask. Hmm. I'm actually really curious. Is Boji fighting him yet? Nope. No, nope. you might. Yeah, be... yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, they're right. They're right up to that part. Okay. Yeah, they're right up to that part. I can't wait, bro, because I'm kind of like, oh no, yeah, he's fighting him already, and he can't yeah. like, yeah, uh... you can't, you can't, he can't be killed because you found yeah. out like that's that's the brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's immortal, man, and I'm over here like, damn, son. Yeah, I mean, like, said, because he's, is like, like I said, because because he's he's immortal. Like it, it drove him crazy. Yep. But I'm over here, like, bro, you're immortal, bro. Find something better to do, bro. Yeah. Like, but not well, like, overall, that's ooh, great, great. That's a great uh thing. So let's see, Kadeem said, damn. "Hold on." Did I, oh, wait, cancel that. I'm, I was about to hop out the day. All right, like Kadeem wrote, uh. Ah, uh, okay, that's what he said. Okay, well, we're going back to that. So it looked like Kadeem had to step out, but uh, this is just the ending. Like I said, we're just doing the ending, the ending segments here. Um, I've basically, like I said, I caught up with Ranking of Kings. Um, a anime I reckon I I will recommend you guys and anybody out there who's listening to watch because I enjoyed a nice good horror story. I, wait, did I did I mention this last week? I'm not sure if I mentioned this last week. Normally, I put up a a picture of what I'm watching, which should have should have had this ready and prepared. I don't know why I didn't have that before. Uh, hold on, I'll be right there. Uh, so so far, I've been watching uh, Theater of Darkness, Yumishibai. You miss you by. Yep. There we go. What's that about? So I'm gonna have to put up the picture. I'm about to put up the picture. Uh it's basically uh classic Japanese ghost stories. Mm. Um, shit. Yeah, it's Jap- uh, Japanese uh, ghost ghost stories um, within, you know, like I said, actually folklore and stuff like that. Um, there's about 10, there's about 10 seasons on there on, on Crunchyroll, but the episodes aren't long. They're about five minutes. I think they're about five to eight minutes long um, each episode. So they're not, they're not, they're not very long episodes. They just give you a good synopsis of the story that they're talking about. And the art style is sort of like a paper mache puppet style, so it's not like it's not like fully animated, like as if you know you're watching a regular anime, but it's more like a, a like like if you was watching like a little puppet show made out of paper mache or made out of like paper figures. But um, the stories are great. I enjoyed the stories. Like it's one of those it's one of those animes where I like, like I said I started watching it and I just couldn't like I couldn't. I couldn't get away from it. I think one of the seasons yeah, they did, uh, yeah, yeah, 
I think one of the seasons they did a live, they actually did a live adaptation on, on a few ghost stories that they did. But yeah, it's on Crunchyroll, Yamishibai, uh, Theater of Darkness, Yamishibai, or Yamishibai Japanese Ghost Stories. Um, definitely give it a shot. It's it's, it's, it's it's up there. It's one of my favorites. And of course, I cannot forget, you know, because I caught up with my other anime that I watch, uh, which is um, My Dress Up Darling. You know, just, uh... that's still... Great, great anime. I I recommend it as as a romance, as, as a good romance anime. But uh, but that's about it though. That's that's what I have. Um, hey, that's solid. Overall, Brandon, where can we find yep. you? Where where can hey, we find look. you? You know I'm out here, man. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. You no, know, make sure you know if you, if you play if you're playing Apex Legends. Yep. Watch out for them. You know, snipe, snipe, snipe from the from the from the far side of the map. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm oh just kidding. shit! You know that's the vibe. You know, <laughs> that's the vibe. You know? <laughs> Good though, that is the vibe. I could, I could get something like that off. You know? Oh man! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like I said, you can catch you can you can find me on um like I said on the description below. It's gonna be in uh, it's gonna be in the description below this video on YouTube. Or uh, you can find me at unqualified gamer on my YouTube channel. Um and also same same name through all throughout my other social medias. Um yeah, that's about it, man. Thank thank you guys for, for listening. You know, this is, has been episode six of 90 support group. Also, hey. like I say, quick shout out because yeah. Zenith had to step out because he had he, he had to be a dad. Yeah, you know, he, he had to be a dad, so he had to step out a bit early. But throwing his shout out right now because Zenith makes shirts, so check out his official website, zenithxofficial.com. Get yourself a t-shirt, hoodie, you know, some good apparel because I'll tell you, man, his stuff is fire on point. I'm telling you, you want to look nice out there for the people and make yourself feel good. Get yourself some Zenith X official wear. Hey. <laughs> so with that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and sign out. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next week. Peace out. Peace.